Ever since I was a kid, so I was born in the 60s, and I grew up in the 60s and 70s, and I had the hots, always had the hots for Bridget Bardot. It's just this thing that I always had. It's funny how throughout the years, whatever it is you constantly dream about or wish for, somehow you attract that. That's a weird phenomenon. I've noticed that too. Yeah. Like everyone else, I had my fantasies with Heather Locklear and Angelina Jolie and Pam Anderson. All superficial. No, just kidding. Yeah, but, but they're hot. They're hot girls. Just what's hot so, to you. So it's your type. <clears throat> Everybody's entitled to their own type. So I'm preparing myself, right, for my person making myself the best I can be, and I was rewarded with Kara, and guess what? Looks, she looks like all of them put together. There's times where she looks like Heather Locklear, and there's times where she looks like Pam Anderson, and times where she looks like, most of the time, she looks like Bridget Bardot. I have my own private Bridget Bardot, which is so cool. It's so, I am so thankful. I'm so appreciative of this every day. I'm so sweet. I got my throat. So anyway, we did this photo shoot. I didn't realize, I actually didn't even realize this until <coughs> until we did a photo shoot for uh, a little video I did. You know, a website I did, I created called Shorts Illustrated, which is to promote what a healthy body can look like when you're 50. No matter the age? Yeah, no matter the age. It's like Sports Illustrated, but it's my version. It's called shortsillustrated.com. And you can go to it and see all these pictures of Kara. And one of them is, we did this, this. She pointed this out. I didn't even see this until um, uh, later. Uh, the bathing suit, the hairstyle, the makeup is almost exactly like a famous Bridget Bardot picture where she was wearing the same, look at this, a black and white striped bikini. The hair's the same and she's there's the water and i'm going oh my god it happened be careful what you want be careful what you wish for you just might get it including the negative thoughts the negative things the fears the bad stuff stop dwelling on the things that you know if you're a negative person you're going to attract more negativity to you if you're a positive optimistic person whatever it is you're dreaming about positivity begets positivity there's a good chance you're going to be attracting it too if you're ready for it and you're deserving of it. That's important too. Because if you, uh, you know, you just sit there and think you deserve everything, you really do need to earn it. So, um... Um, well, when you have to work hard for something, you just... I, I think I scored, I scored the big one with you. Thank so, you. I so. said the same thing about you, Blue Lagoon Boy. <laughs> and that's another, we both love that movie, The Blue Lagoon, where these two people are stranded on a tropical island. They get to do whatever they want and wear. Don't have to wear clothes, make out all the time. Oh, you'd love that. We kind of do most of that. <laughs> I know, but you'd love to be. Except we have air Sorry. conditioning. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you got what you wished for, and I'm, I'm glad I could fulfill that wish. And I am absolutely honored. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so, my be care yeah, the message, the moral of the story is be careful what you wish for and understand that when you manifest and visualize, it usually comes true. If the situation is right and you're deserving, awesome. you've you made your, you've done your homework and, you know, you have to prepare for it. You have to lay out the, uh, the, the dinnerware and then the guests might show up. But, um, it's important to do your homework first and i keep saying that and it's true but i'm very appreciative and that's another thing i don't think you're giving gifts unless you're able to be thankful and appreciative of it and i'm so appreciative of thank you, you. every moment of my life it's a pleasure <laughs> yeah she's so beautiful it's too sweet okay this is getting really corny <laughs> corny and gabby yeah, all right Anyway, but it also pertains to you, okay? So don't ever give up. Do your homework, prepare yourself, make yourself the best, and start only thinking about the good stuff. Fantasies do come true, the good and the bad. So do your, do your stuff. Keep, keep this clean, positive, okay? Okay.